Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we'll see how we can implement search view in the cycle view with Kotlin. So I have created one empty project as you can see. In the main activity we don't have anything and in the activity main uh, I have removed the text view. So first thing that we're gonna add in our activity main is a material card view and I'll make its width as a 0 dp and I'll add height as a wrap content. So we'll use material card view to provide some corner radius and elevation to our search view. And I'll constraint its top to top of parent. To just add some properties like card corner radius of 8 dp. And I'll also provide the card elevation of 8 dp. And I'll use one property which is card use compact padding. I'll make it true. Then inside this we'll have one search view. So let's just add the search view and make sure to use the latest one which is from Android X. So yeah, then again uh, width will be match parent and height will be wrap content. So we'll provide one query hint and that will be search here and some dots. But as you can see it is not visible in our search view. So what we can do we have to use one property which is iconify by default we'll make it false and you'll see the search here but again i can see one border bottom line to this search here text or hint uh, so for that what i can do i'll just use one property which is query background and we need to provide let me just write android colon color transparent this one cool and as you can see the line is gone so yeah then what we can do uh, we just need to provide it an id so i'll make it search you and then i'll add id to this as well so i'll make it material card view cool or we can just increase this uh, elevation to 12 dp yeah that looks cool to me and then below this we'll add one recycler view so recycler view we'll keep its width and height as 0 dp so 0 dp and we'll provide an id so id will be or we can name it as a recycler view because we just have one recycler here i'll constrain its constrain it to horizontal in parent and bottom to the bottom and top to the bottom of the material card view and cool so then we can just move to our main activity so here i'll have late init words for our recycler view and for our search view so let's just have them and i'll find their ids as well so recycler view let's find the id r.id.recycler view and then we have search view so search view equals to find your id r.id.search view and we'll add some properties to recycler view just as say it has fixed size this will be true and then recycler view dot layout manager we'll use linear layout manager so linear layout layout manager and we'll, we need to pass context as this then we'll call one method which will be add data to list but first of all uh can we just have that method over here so private fun add data to the list cool so let me show the each item layout which i have already prepared it's simple don't worry so this one again it is a material card view same margin card corner radius elevation and all that inside that i have one constraint layout again one card view and inside the card view i have the image view then i have a text view which is of course language we'll have languages name here and we'll have languages logos over here cool so we need to create one model class for that so i'll click on new cutting class and we'll select data class we can name it as language data whatever makes sense to us so well first of all we'll have the titles or we can say yeah we can say the title 
then we'll have logo which will be of type int because we'll be using drawable resources i have added some resources like c plus plus java and all that cool so our data class is prepared now i'll create one adapter class for our recycle view so let me just name it as a language adapter cool and we'll pass uh let's make it var because we will be modifying this list so val let's just name it as m list um, this will be type of language data cool and then we need to inherit this class from recycle view dot adapter and here we need to pass the view holder but we'll create view holder over here so i'll make one inner class i'll create one inner class i'll name it as language view holder and this will take one parameter which will be item view of type view cool and again this class will inherit from recycle view dot view holder and in this we need to pass this item view cool then we can just pass this language view holder here as a type so language view holder and i'll press alt ctrl l let me close this project view i'll press alt enter to implement this three methods of recycle view all right then i'll click on ok so in here we need to define our variables so we have an image here so well i can just name it as a logo this will type of image view we'll find its id using this item view r dot id dot logo iv then we have the title we can name it as a title tv this will be text view this will come from item view dot find view by id r dot id dot title tv and that's it for the view holder class now inside the on create view holder when we'll create one val which will be view and we'll just inflate the layout so we'll use layout inflator for that dot from and we get context from parent dot context then we to call inflate method so r dot layout dot each item and the second parameter will be parent and the third parameter will be false then we need to return the language view holder class and we need to pass this view cool so then in the gate item count you can just return the m list dot size and inside the on bind view holder what we will do we'll set our resources so for that we'll use holder first of all we'll set the logo so set image resource i'll pass m list of position dot logo and then we have holder dot title so we can use text property which will come from m list position dot title cool so that's done for language adapter for now we'll come back here for filtering the list so inside the main activity in the add data to list we need to add some data to our m list First of all, we'll create one list here. So private late in it where this will be M list of type, or we can just initialize it over here. So array list of type language data. Cool. And we'll also need okay, we don't need late in it. And we'll also need uh, language adapter. So late in it where adapter language adapter. Cool. So we'll initialize our language adapter here, or we can just initialize it over here. Language adapter. Sorry, adapter equals to language adapter. And we need to pass the M list here. So M list. Then we can set this adapter to a recycle view. So adapter. Recycle view dot adapter equals to adapter. Then inside the add data to list, we'll add data to our M list. So M list dot add. We need to pass language data here so language data let's select uh, java first and then i'll add r dot drivable dot java i'll duplicate this line few times cool then i'll use kotlin then c sharp or c plus plus whatever it is and then python then i'll use html Cool. 
so now if I run the app it will display the recycler view so let's just run the app so our app has been installed and as you can see search view and then Java Kotlin C++ code so now what we can do uh, let's just get a read out of this action bar so I'll use no action bar here cool and instead of this we can use purple 200 cool and we don't need these tools so now we will implement the search view so let's just come back to main activity so over here we'll add one property to our search view which is set on query text listener we need to pass object type on query text listener cool and we need to implement some methods the actual two methods i'll press on alt enter on object then i get two methods i'll click on ok so we don't need this metal method so i'll just return false here and in here i'll call one method which will be filter list and i'll pass this new text then i can just return true from here cool so down here just close this project view i'll create another function which will be filter list and we'll give it query here so query a type string so as it is nullable we'll have one check if the query is not equals to null so if the query is not equals to null then everything is fine i'll create another list i'll name it as a filtered list and this will be type of sorry java thing again array list of type language data cool and then i'll run one for loop i n m list cool so inside this uh, i'll just have one check which will we will search for titles of the languages right so i dot title dot to lowercase this one this one is uh, deprecated you can see but uh, we need to pass one parameter here which is local dot root and this will be happy and then we can just use context contains function and we'll pass in the query all right so if uh, this condition is satisfied means we get uh, whatever we are searching for in the search view so we'll add that item to this newly created list so filter list dot add and we'll pass in the i cool so we'll just click on that and replace to with lowercase this function all right then we just need to pass this filtered list to adapt a class so for that what i'm gonna do here i'll have one check which will be filtered list is empty or not so if it is empty we can just display one toast so toast make test and write no data found and then the third parameter which will be toast length and then dot show and else if the filtered list is not empty then we have some data according to our search query so we'll pass this m uh, filtered list to our adapter class for that in the adapter class we'll create another function so let's just create one function here one filtered i can just write set filtered list and so again we can just pass m list here and then this dot m list equals to m list and we just need to call the notify data set change and this will be happy then inside the main activity over here you can just call that function set filtered list and we'll pass in the filtered list so cool i guess that's it now we'll run the app and we'll see it's working or not so application has been installed so let's just search for kotlin so yeah this one is working now i'll remove this and i'll search for c it's the plus plus 
so again it's working so again we have python and we also have p in javascript so yeah this one is working so that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching